And we begin with breaking news right now at 11 o'clock as a community group is calling for the Department of Justice to investigate policing here in Indianapolis. It comes after a dozen police shootings this year, including nine just since August 1st. In a statement late today, the Concerned Clergy of Indianapolis and the Baptist Ministers Alliance requested an investigation into IMPD. The group's calls nine shootings since August 1st egregious. We spoke to the concerned clergy earlier tonight. We've seen so many police action shootings since, uh, since August that clearly there's a trend there and we couldn't continue to be silent about that particular issue. I think the DOJ, the Department of Justice, needs to come in and really assess IMPD. We need an outside agency with credibility to come in to do that, that would be respected by both community and law enforcement. CBS4 has reached out to IMPD for a response. The department says it is still working on a statement. Questions are being raised about how so many police shootings in such a short time can impact the community and the department. CBS4's Max Lewis spoke with an expert and joins us live now in studio. And Max, what are they saying? Well, Debbie and Bob, they said these impacts that these shootings have all comes down to perception, even though each one has had very different circumstances surrounding them. Whether they are justified or not, the expert we spoke to said nine in three months is not a good look. This morning's police shooting wasn't just the ninth in three months. It's also the third in just 10 days. According to data from IMPD, this is the first time that many police shootings have happened in such a short time, going back to 2015 when the department started keeping track. The optics aren't good. IU professor of criminal justice Stephanie Whitehead said when it comes to the impact these shootings have on the broader community, perception is more important than reality. They're going to be afraid that, you know, somebody that they love, if it's a mental health situation could get harmed. Um, it's going to make people wary of getting involved in any circumstance because of this, this fear. Whitehead said the racial dynamics in these incidents are impossible to ignore. So far this year, 13 of the 14 people shot by IMPD have been black and 18 of the 23 officers who've been identified so far are white. People are going to have, especially within those communities, they're going to have questions. They're going to want answers for why this is happening. We are seeing a level of violence uh, that is concerning, um, and we have to continue to work towards uh, solutions both as a law enforcement profession and as a community. IMPD said today it doesn't know why so many police shootings are occurring, but Whitehead thinks the impact of these shootings on the department and crime overall could be to blame. That kind of molds their perception to think that since since the city is more dangerous, that each encounter is going to be more dangerous. Now, I just said that she thinks there needs to be a more emphasis in police training on communication as well as de-escalation tactics. While it's impossible to point to one single thing that's causing these incidents, earlier today, IMPD said it did want to work to find the commonalities between these recent shootings and hopefully address them. In the studio, Max Lewis, CBS4 News.